Hi, my name is Ponchi Rivas, and this video is to help you uh, get started when you open the box, just to make sure everything's running correctly and nothing's gone out of whack during shipping. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to check to make sure that these axes are pretty solid. There will be a little bit of flex in them, but they should be pretty solid. Um, and, and, and the way to check that is just by trying to wobble it like that back and forth. Um, if they are loose, what you'll notice is that these wheels, these V wheels, they're called, um, will spin freely on there. And um, they should have a little bit of force when you try to turn them holding that axis. If they don't, um, you, there's on one side, there's going to be a plastic nylon washer. And on the opposite side of the maker slide, you're going to have a, what's called an eccentric spacer. And the hole in the center of that thing is offset, so when you turn it, it'll bring that wheel closer or further away from that maker slide rail. And that's how you adjust that. Um, hopefully you won't have to, to adjust that, but if it's loose, that's what you need to do. And you just want to turn that in a direction that uh, brings it closer, and if it's too tight, you want to back it off. You should, you should be able to spin it with a little bit of force holding that axis. What I do, is I hold the opposite, opposite side of the wheel so it won't move, and I turn it. The other thing to check is um, make sure that uh, on the Z-axis, that these are both touching. And I've got a calibration video on my website that you can check uh, to if you need to calibrate. Um, but uh, what you want to do is make sure that this sensor right here, which is the, uh, the limit for the uh, Z-axis, Z-axis being the one that goes up and down. The y-axis is this one, moves this way, and this is the x-axis. So uh, there's going to there, there, these are uh, threaded rods, and it's okay to have a little bit of wobble in, in these because this decouples it, and therefore your printer, any wobble here is not going to transmit to your to your prints. Uh, it's going to decouple it. Um, the uh, the reason I don't have a lead screw or something. You know, really expensive here is because it's it's not necessary. I am uh, designing a newer one that's going to keep within the budget. I don't want to raise the price of these units by putting something really expensive here. It's really not necessary. Um, so anyhow, uh, what you want to what you want to do next is uh, make sure that uh, you know you keep the build platform and that you've got uh, as in my other video, you've got uh, something here to make it your parts of here either painters blue painters tape or what I've been using is uh, you know this this little slurry mix of ABS and acetone and what I do is I mix it up and place it on there with a uh, paper towel while the bed is warm um, so once you've loaded your filament and of course uh, you need to make sure that the extruder is hot to load the filament um, you want to make sure that uh, your filament is primed and, and it's ready to go. But uh, absolutely essential for your prints to come out and that you don't have problems is you want to make sure that you've cal the Z is calibrated. And what I mean is that the nozzle should be about a paper thickness from the build platform. If you put tape, you're going to have to adjust that. If you take tape off, you're going to have to adjust it again. And there's a video that, on my website that shows how to do that. But um, just out of the box, you can put a piece of paper underneath in the center here. And you should be able to move it. See, now this is too tight. So I'm going to push it in the, so in the software. I'm going to click on the up 0.1 millimeters. Until I get the right height. It's about right. And now I'm going to turn this. And this is all explained in the calibration video. And that light comes on. And then back off. I want just that very edge. So I'm going to try that again. There we go. So I've got the right uh, height there. And I'm going to test that one more time. It may be a little too tight. I'm going to turn it clockwise just to have more. Okay. 
So it's very important that you get that uh, correct. If it's too low on the bed, what you'll do is you'll be blocking the uh, nozzle and won't be able to extrude and it'll cause a jam. If you're too high off the bed, then what will happen is that your prints won't stick. You'll just kind of be throwing it in the air and then it'll, you know, as it goes, comes back around there, it's just going to mess, make a mess there. So it's very important to get that right. And uh, in the calibration video, it actually shows um, that you should have it at all four corners. It goes through explaining how to adjust that. So once you've got that, you're ready to print. And I'm going to go ahead and run this job that I have here. And I've got, I'll have another video up soon uh, that will show you how to use the software on the PC to uh, slice the, the part and um, you, know, you can orient it, scale it, do a bunch of stuff with that. There's some help files in there. Uh, I hope you, this uh, video has been helpful and thank you very much. I just want to show you that uh, if you follow all the steps in the videos um, after unboxing the printer and you make those uh, checks that I discussed um, and, and you make sure that your uh, z-axis is calibrated off the bed um, you may not have to do anything but like I said in in shipping sometimes things uh, move a little bit and so you need to check it but this printer is this is its first print and you can see that it's coming out just beautifully I'm printing this slow and just to show you another trick that if you don't want to wait that long you can take this, nozzle, uh, this knob here and I've got it at 102% and I'm just going to crank that up to uh, let's see what we get here let's get a two, 208% and I just did that while it's printing and you can also crank up the speed in the software on the manual control tab um, it's the slider, the top slider in the middle there. Uh, that's the feed rate. So let me just crank it off, crank it up just a little bit more. Let's see what we have it set to. Okay, so I've got it to 311%. This is a very fast printer. As you can see, it's printing very nicely. Nice edges. Well, thanks again for watching.